What's up, YouTube? We're in the back of the jungle today. We're gonna collect some bamboo. I'm gonna do some kind of cooking method that's a bamboo cooking method. I basically turn a piece of bamboo into like a crock pot or a pressure cooker. So I'm gonna harvest some of this invasive bamboo over here. This is a clumping, clumping bamboo, which means its root system is uh, all over the place over here. And like if you were to try to dig here, you would need like some crazy heavy duty equipment. So when you're cutting bamboo, you wanna cut downward so you don't crack it going this way. So I'm gonna cut at an angle so I don't completely crack it. Cause I don't want this split to go all the way up here. So. See the way I cut? I cut at a downward angle like that, so it didn't crack the whole tube. So by cutting at a downward angle, you can keep the keep the bamboo intact for what we're gonna use it for right now. This is what we're gonna use to cook with as our cooking vessel. So if you don't have a pot, you're in the jungle and you need to cook with something, this is a viable option. Always be mindful with the machete too, machete safety. that angle cut right there stops it from um, from popping and then and then you can see bamboo is completely hollow on the inside so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna stuff our boar sausage or Swiss chard. We're gonna pack this the guy up. We're gonna put it over a fire and we're gonna cook with it. I wanna make it look easy, huh? It's a perfect one, so it's still shut. We're gonna cut this open when we get a little bit closer. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I got my little coconut fiber rope. This is from Palau. My friend brought it back from there. That's our little bamboo tubers. And you can see two of these are hollow. We're gonna hollow these ones out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack them with our boar sausage, some Swiss chard from the garden. I got basil, I got mint, I got coconut milk. And we're gonna experiment with some of these bamboo things. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so super excited to do this today. Okay, okay so we're gonna grab some tea leaf. We're just gonna kinda like pack in pack in the tops of the bamboo with it. So it kind of makes a compression, just like an instant pot. So right here we got a little um, mallard duck. And in this zone back here, there's a bunch of ducks that have been, been living. The ducks are nice, but they kind of stink up this part of the stream a little bit because they shit everywhere. They weren't always here. They only sh like appeared like, I don't know, 10 years ago. So recently I've been cooking in a, a kitchen again and it's nice to like work and be in a high stakes, like high, high energy kitchen. But this is kind of my favorite place to cook. So today I wanted to come detox a little bit, cook some natural food in a natural environment. We're cooking a boar sausage that I killed with my friend. The sausage has been like feeding me for like two months already frozen. So we're gonna cook it up with some bamboo right here and our tea leaf. So check it out. We're here on the riverbank and it kind of had a flash flood. I was actually in the forest when it flash flooded a couple months ago. And what happens when it flash floods back here is that it brings down all these felling trees. Like usually it happens from like the wind and stuff, but if you like look all over here, we're standing in a zone where it all piled up like a dam kind of. So it's perfect for what we're gonna do. We're gonna burn some wood. So we got all this albizia wood, guava wood, and 
make a little fire right here for our bamboo. Okay, so we're gonna take out some of this wood right here. And um, all this is from when the, when the flash flood came. So I'm gonna just take this. This looks like Albizia branches. And this is perfect for getting our fire started too. When I'm chopping wood sometimes, like, and it's brittle like this, I use the flat side of my knife so I don't hit the, the rocks and chip my blade. So it's like, it does the same job, but you're using the flat side. So now I'm gonna get my fire base started. So what I'm gonna do is kinda get something along the lines of this on the bottom. And this on top. And we're just gonna build out from here with smaller wood little pieces, little things that are gonna light up good. So we're gonna cheat a little today. I got the torch. Okay, so the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these out. I got a little mud in some of these. These are the bottom parts, so it doesn't matter. But I wanna clean these tops. I wanna clean the inside out too. Just make sure they're nice and Nice and clean before we go ahead and cook with them. But yeah, this is a cool way of cooking stuff. If you're in the jungle, if you're ever in a survival situation, you need a pot or a pan or you don't have one, and you, this is like a, a viable option. And it makes sense. It's like, why is this thing hollow? It's like, for you to cook in. And that just will clean out the inside of the tube real quick. Make sure there's like no bugs in there or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and gonna clean these tea leaves off. It's gonna be, first it's gonna be our cutting board, then it's gonna be our stuffer for the tops of these guys. Grab our emptied out bamboo. And then we're gonna go ahead, just make sure there's nothing in there. Throw in some mushroom. So I'm gonna throw in some of this boar sausage. Mushroom. be super careful this these uh the sides of this bamboo are super sharp They're like razor blades you gotta be careful when you're cutting bamboo like the, the way i showed you earlier in the video because it's so easy to fuck yourself up with this when you're cutting it because it's like you can use it as a scalpel if you cut it in the right the right way and i don't want to like this is so sketchy Bunch of the cilantro. This is just for flavor. So I got all these veggies from my uh, my garden. This is all homegrown veggies. This is a wild boar. And we're just gonna make a 
wild boar tube. Protein, vegetables, maybe a little coconut milk. That's it, super simple. Some little lemongrass right there too. Perfect. So then I'll grab one tea leaf. And I'm gonna fold this tea leaf up. And use it as a as a way to pack in all the air. So right there you go, stuffed bamboo. So we're gonna throw our first one down. So we got our stuffed bamboo right here. We're just gonna place it like that. Kind of like make it a part of the fire, you know? We'll stuff some more Swiss chard in here. And this is going to get smaller. And some coconut milk on the end of the stick. Doing this lemon grass. A second. None of these motherfuckers ever seen this one before. Ow. Okay, so I'm gonna get this fire. So they're kind of sitting in some coals and stuff, but I want direct heat on this because the green bamboo can handle a lot of heat. So I got this left over that didn't fit in the bamboo, so I'm just gonna wrap it in some Swiss chard. Do a little quick job on this guy. Wrap it in some tea leaf. Nothing too fancy. I just wanna get the sausage cooked and in my stomach. I need energy. We'll just throw this guy right here in the bottom. All right, so yeah, they look um, they look like they're done. They've been sitting in here for about 20, 30 minutes. I saw all the bubbling from the top, and I want to pull them out before they get a little too crispy. It looked like they got a little too crispy, but it's all good. <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. At least we cooled it down. So, got a fully cooked bamboo here. So, I just want to open up one. Oh, wow, look at that. Be careful, this shit's sharp.
Oh, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Got some fucking perfectly cooked boar. We got our Swiss chard. Let's get some of that. Oh, ho, ho. Rah. the lemongrass is so strong. It's awesome. I'm gonna peel the lemongrass out just because it's a flavoring. It's not really for eating. Wow, look at that. So this is the lemongrass here. Did its job, it got all the flavor into the boar and the Swiss chard and the mushroom. So let's make a little, let's make a little god bite right here. Swiss chard, mushroom, a little bit of sausage. Are you guys ready? That's good eating, bro. Wild boar, Swiss chard, and mushroom. So easy. So good. A little stick. I've been wanting to try that style of cooking for a while. It's like a Southeast Asian, Asian style of cooking where they usually put sticky rice inside of the bamboo and then they cook it like that. Today, we did a little different with veggies and boar sausage. Came out really good though. So I'm gonna start incorporating that into my regular cooking, the whole bamboo um, hot pot kind of thing. And I'm stoked, everything came out perfect. We um, had success, it's awesome. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe, like. Comment on, on the videos, talk to me. I'm always down to talk. You got any questions or stuff, let me know. And I'll, you guys check us out on the next video. Shoots.